Okay, ready. So we're going to start with the topic of today and it's vocabulary to on page 12. Of course, other students cannot see the content, what we are talking about, but can see actually uh, something that I did for all the people. Yes, well, all the students who might want to know some differences between words. And let's start right now. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So this is actually what I'm going to do, but let me know if you can see these slides. Yes? Yes, yes I can yes. see. Okay, I'm going to omit the chat uh, right now because I'm not very comfortable using the chat and speaking at the, at the same time, but you can totally listen to me. So we have this vocabulary and it's the same what comes on your book, right? We have some definitions, yes, but they are in both. And this page that I'm going to show you, yes, they are in both. Here, this is the part that I wanted to show you, but we're going to work with this, okay? So we have okay. this okay. words. Can you tell me uh, the orange ones, amber? How would you pronounce these words? Only. Okay. And At plain. The other plain. Okay. Can you write the definitions of both? Valley, an area of low land between hills of mountain, often with a river running through it. Plain. Yes. Okay, sorry, uh -huh. sorry, sorry. Plain. Yes, continue. Plain, a large area of flat land. Yes. So everything is understandable. I mean, you understood everything that says here, or you have a question? In the orange one. What are these hills? Hills. 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 Kind of mountains, but uh, yes. higher. Ah, okay. The word in Spanish, I wonder. I don't know why I forgot right now. Mm, Arturo, you can help me because you are studying this. What is hills? The teacher what is hills? <sighs> yes, I forgot the word in Spanish. Is uh, colina? Colinas, colinas, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, so the value is actually an area of low land. It's lower, yes? Yes. yes. Between the hills, between the hills. You understand that, right? Often yes. with a river running through it. Yes, running through it with a river. And Some the plain is a large, larger area of flat land. Yes, and we understand what flat means, right? Yes. It's okay, that's the plain. Also, we use plain for all the, the, for, for the students who are going to watch this. Plain is also used as an adjective, yes, to describe people's or a person's personality. If I say that someone is plain, I'm, I might be, or I, I'm expressing that the person is simple, yes, just kind of, kind of simple. He's plain. Or if I want yes. to say that someone looks pallid, or I mean the color of, of the the skin of a person, then I. I can use this plain adjective as well to describe the color. Yes, for example, my sister and me, we're very different. I have like a brown skin, yes, well, brown skin, but my sister is plain. So she's very, she's white, but not that white. She's plain, like pallid, yes. So uh, this is the color of the skin that you can describe when you're describing a person in terms of appearance. Then we have swamp in pout, okay? Uh, can you read this one, Arturo? Yes, swamp is an area of soft and wet land. And pond, an area of water usually smaller than a lake and made artificial. Yes, this is what a pond uh, means. An area of water usually smaller, yes, than a lake and made artificially. But why does it say that it's made artificially? Why is it made artificial? That is, that is made by the men. Mm. By the hand of the men. With a machine, mm. I don't know. In a machine. Okay, sometimes, yes, it is the case sometimes. But, okay, it's still natural, but it's artificial because it doesn't exist like whatever. It can dry up at some seasons, you know, when it's really hot. They, Town can disappear totally, and 
th so that's why it's artificial because it doesn't exist or last like forever yes according to the climate change global warming and all those things that could our work this can change yes and of course as uh, Amber said men can alter so menos el ser humano puede alterar esta parte no in okay. some swamp an area of soft and wet land what could be a swamp que se imagina que es un swamp en español the, the place where shreks lakes pantano okay like como pantano. un pantano verdad yes. sí 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 muy bien arturo sí 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 más o menos i así. say you said so sorry i didn't listen to it okay so we have a swamp and a pond okay and then channel and canal channel and canal can you read about channel and canal Arturo? channel a television station quite easy yes and canal canal long and thin stretch of water made artificially for boats to travel along or store some water okay can you tell me guys i mean if you knew this difference between these two words did you already know it yes a canal is like a river artificial river yes like yes the ones okay in the amusement parks there are some places for kids or ah well, i can give the best example here in Tuxla, Tanya. No. No, can you? the place for kids convivencia convivencia so mm -hmm. that place i don't know if you have seen the canal well it's an artificial one and a very yes, yes, yes. fake one but then i can go with my kid with a boat and roll yes so that's a canal in other countries of course that it's not that fake like here in Tuxla, in europe Tunisia, in italy rome so we have some canals it's not totally artificially made but we have some canals where boats can actually be on there you know and it's made for people it, like, like an attraction yeah so that's why it says artificially because it's not Right now, it's not totally natural. Mm -hmm. It stores some water because it can also be disappeared if we alter, yes, alter them. I, I'm not like, uh, no soy ingeniera ambiental ni nada de eso, pero yo me estoy imaginando como que altera también todo lo que es el ecosistema o lo que esté sucediendo, ¿no? Altera esta, esta parte de que puede ser que baje el nivel de estos canales o que se contamine y ya dejen de existir. Entonces, algo así me imagino, ¿no? Que por eso dice que es uh, artificial, porque al, tal vez no están, este, tiene que llevar a un mantenimiento, ¿no? Como cualquier lugar. ¿no? Sobre todo okay. si es una atracción turística. Ok, what about spring and source? Amber, can you read the, the, the screen? Concept? Spring? A place where water flows out naturally from the ground. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we call this in Spanish. So, no, ya se me fue este nombre. No, bien, bien, no, no, Something like that. Mm, yes, but there are smaller ones, but the smaller ones, I don't know how they call them in Spanish. Ojo de agua. Ojo de agua. Ah, interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and the source, the place something comes from or starts at. How can can you explain this? The place something comes from or starts at. Can you give me an example? I mean, in Spanish, if you want, but give me an example. Source is como fuente algo así de dónde proviene algo mm -hmm. yes for example el origen no el, ajá algo así origen so you give me an example you can give me an example algo que refiere al, a lo natural no a los recursos naturales que tenemos cómo que sería o sea yo quiero saber el ejemplo de un source en el mundo yes este eh, a ver, es. Sí, yo soy mala. Nada, no leo este, ya, temas de clima y de naturaleza, pero 
source the petroleum for example oil uh, yes maybe uh, is uh, when i was young i read uh, a book mm -hmm. uh, named popol Vuh. uh -huh. in in this read in the, this read the mexican soul is from corn something like that Mexican, okay, can you repeat that please, Arturo? In Spanish, los mexicanos provenimos uh -huh. de, del maíz. Yes. How is it so? Yes, it's... Uh, ¿Cómo está eso, Arturo? Sí, el, pop, el Popol Vuh nos dice que estamos hechos a partir de, del maíz, de acuerdo a la cultura mexicana. Mm. That everyone uh, likes corn, of course, with Mexican yes. people. Yes, but uh, source, I... No sé, a soul from corn, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, that's true. But I was surprised at the thing you said, that we uh, come from corn. But it's like a legend? Sorry, sorry, Amber. Yes, it's, a, it's like a le legend. Mm, okay. So, Amber, you were to say something? Yes, I was thinking in other kind of example. Uh, for example, the source of the Cañón del Sumidero starts starts uh -huh. on Rijalva's River, something like that. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good example. I'm not good at this topic. I don't like it either, but uh, because I, I don't read that much the uh, story of my place, to tell them, so Mexico, I, I'm even though I thought, for example, that someone told me in Las Piñatas, I thought that they were Mexican, but they are not Mexican. Las Piñatas, but I mean, it's like we adapted things to our country, but they are not like really uh, from Mexico. So that's that's something that I'm surprised, yes, yes. Of every time the students, because the students tell me so. So we have the next one and we have the, how do you pronounce this too? Bitch. Be bitch. ¿Cómo que bitch? Este ámbar. No me digas así. Ghost. Uh -huh. Ahorita voy a ponerlo en mi. Pero no sé si se escuche. Es lo que quería ver. Okay. Quería probar con ustedes si se escucha. Porque. Y ya ustedes saben cómo pronunciar la palabra playa. Vamos a ver si se escucha. ¿No? No? It's not clear. It's not clear. No? no? I can bring my speaker. By the way, you can tell me. Think about the pronunciation. I'm going to bring my, my speaker. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Cost. 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 How is it now? One more time, please. <laughs> bitch. Bitch, algo así. Bitch. Like, bitch. No. Bitch. Sounds like P at the beginning. Not P, but uh, the E sound. The E? Well, not an E sound. The I sound, but you know, it's as in Spanish, E. e. Yes. yes. Yes, yes, So we have bitch. And not bitch, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Beach. Beach. Yeah. So we have beach, beach. Yes, it's it's softer beach. than the word bitch. Okay. Bitch. Beach. Yes. Beach. Uh -huh. Beach. Yes. Beach. I'm a beach right now. Beach. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not on the beach. No, I'm the beach. Yes, beach. Beach. And then we have the network. What was the network? Oh, oh, it's not only. Oh, sorry. If I can switch it now. Beach. Coast. Coast. We have the coast. Yes. Coast. 
También la primera, la de... Esta, miren. Porque creo que... No sé si Arturo o Amba lo pronunció mal. Pond. Pond. It's this one. Pond. Pond, algo así. Pond. Yes, because usually uh, the students say or pronounce it like this. They pronounce it like this. Pond. Pound. It's not pound. It's pond. Oh. Yes, it was a pond. Yes, pond. it's a pond, pond, pond. And I'm going to repeat it if you want to. Pond. Pond. Oh. It's not like that, exaggerated or overreacting to the sound of pond, but it's not pound, it's pond, okay? Pond. Okay, and then uh, we have the beach in the coast. What is a beach? Uh, Amber, can you read? An area of sand near the sea. An area of sand near the sea. And a coast, Arturo? An area okay. of land close to sea. The sea, perdón. Sorry, to the sea. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? What would, be, what would be the difference between these two? The sand and the land. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One is near and the other is close. <laughs> okay, Amba. Okay, you are so funny, Amba. Here we have an area of sand near the sea. Sand, yes, sand. As Amba says, literally we would say so. In the coast, in the area of land, yeah, it means um, that people might be living on there, yes. Yes, or they inhabit that place uh, close to the sea, yeah, so. I don't have right now examples of places, I mean, like remembering some places in Europe because usually right in the other part of the world or even even though here I mean Mexico do we have this coastal places yes or no yes which ones can, can you tell Bahia, me one example Bahia de Guatulco, for example mm -hmm. so we have the coastal mm -hmm. site coastal site it's not, well, we have a beach, but it's also a coastal site because there are hotels, there are um, houses. Well, I don't know that place, Amber, the one you said. I haven't been there. But uh, still, we have some land and not sand. Not only sand, we have people there living, yeah? And this one's bank and shore, bank and shore. I'm going to read the, the concepts and then you tell me, think about one example for each one. The bank is a sloping raised land, especially along the sides of a river. Sloping raised land. Like this, sloping raised land. Yes. Maybe it's the sea or the river and then we have this sloping raised sand. Uh-huh, raised land, sorry, oh. especially along the sides of a river. The sides, I mean sides, sides, sides. I mean, I'm gonna give you an example right now. In shore, the land along the edge of a sea, lake or wide river, but it's only one. We have some places I'm gonna show you right now. If you're taking Lunch. notes, just, just okay. let me show you the example. I want it, and that's the, the one that you can use to see more examples. I'm gonna share now and again my screen. ¿Se ve en la pantalla? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Let me see if it appears here. I mean, the one that I saw. But I don't remember the... No, this is not. Could see here one clear example, but I don't remember how was it. I also have it in the, in the activity, but I wanted to show you another one. Okay, for example, this one. We have the outer bands. Yes, I mean not only one part of land, 
but many of them. Those are the older banks or the banks that we can um, find in a place. So to cross the river from one side to the other side, we need the banks, pieces of land. Yes. Yes. So that's yes. actually. Okay, I'm gonna Is go back. Outer's Bank? Outer Banks, they are called because they are outside. I mean, they are not inside of something or a place. They are uh, in the in the land. I mean, they are uh, found in a in an older place, in, a, in outdoors, yes. So that means Outer Banks. Or in this case, in, in most of the time, they are used in plural because we have, uh, commonly, we have two. Like here, la, la presa de Kipuacen. That one is, a, is it called? Mm. Pero hay unos, hay unos lugarcitos ahí en, el, en, el, en la presa de Kipuacen. Si sí, sí, estoy mal en ese lugar. Me llevan mucho para allá y nunca pregunto cómo se llama. Y tiene, este, es el río y está aquí las palapitas, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y del otro lado también hay palapitas, pero también hay este, tierra, ¿no? O sea, arena, no sé, para que la gente esté inconveniente. Entonces, esos dos pieces of land son los outer banks. Mm, ok. Ok, esos son los banks. Hablando de la naturaleza, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos son los outer banks. Ya no son tan naturales porque le ponen palapa, le ponen tanta cosa a la gente, entonces ya no son los outer banks. Pero eso, ese es el ejemplo. In short, the land along the edge of a sea is only one thing. I mean, on one side of, of the place, because Um, está la arena o en la parte donde puede caminar la gente y del otro lado pues ya es pura agua y eso sería el shore lo, la tierra el, el, la, donde pisan las personas a lo largo de la orilla del, del mar o de la playa ¿sí? es lago o río pero solo un lado cuando tenemos ambos lados para cruzar de un lado a otro se llama back pero de un solo lado donde ni del otro lado sure. hay pura agua y no termina el agua, ¿no? Cuando vamos a la playa, entonces eso es el short, the short, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Eh, entonces, bank es sobre un lago o un río, ¿no? Así Ajá, que, sí. No puede right. ser sobre mar porque es imposible, o sea, no tiene una terminación del mar. Ah, sí, ok. ¿no? no yes, soy experta, yes. pero cuando he ido, ¿no? Pues no veo como que, ay, sí voy a cruzar de aquí a mil kilómetros. <laughs> I don't see the, the, the beach ending, yes? But yes, instead yes, yes. the shore, in the shore, the bank, sorry, yes, it has like a star and a name to cross, to cross. Okay, and then we have here some examples. Which pictures belongs to? Belong to, sorry, yes. Which picture belong to the examples that we saw and the words that we saw? The first one, what do you think could be the name of this place? Mm, I think is <clears throat> Spring? The, the first one after this one. Ah. Because the springs uh, contain water. This yes, one doesn't yes, yes. contain water. No. 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 Plain? Plain? Mm. Mm. A large area of flat land? No. Mm. Ah, valley. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Yes, valley. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the pronunciation of that word. Hoy van a salir este de la sesión, pero aprendiendo bien a pronunciar todas las palabras. Please. Valley. 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 It reminds me of Valley. my father's name because he's Valley. Valentin. But I say Valley. Valley. But Valley. Valley. Yes. So you can remember. Valley. 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 Mm -hmm. Valley. Valley. It's not value. Valley. It's Valley instead. Valley. Yes. Okay. Valley. Not Valley. Valley is a different thing. Okay. Valley. Okay. And then the second one. This is pretty easy. Second one is. Spring? Por ahí me dijeron que el manantial. Quiero un manantial. Uh, ojo de agua, algo así. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Spring? Yes, okay. this is the spring. I said spring. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> Sorry. 
Creo que hablo, pero no querían hablar. Okay. No It's just that I want to, uh, to make a little speak. So then we have the second one as the spring. Okay, spring. What about this one? That's pretty easy. That's what you said before, actually. The first thing that you said. The word. Um, um, no. It's not pump? Pump? No, because that's no. actually water. No. I explain this word in different contexts. Yes, yes. And it's not only used for nature. Heels, high heels, and... No, it's plain. Ah, uh, okay. Plain? Yes. Yeah. So they are not mountains. They are lower than mountains, but usually uh -huh. like this, no? They don't have like the peaks, so they are like this. When people can walk, actually walk or do okay. some activity on there. I mean, you can have this. M most of the time, uh, I have seen movies being filmed in, in those kind of planes. Yes, I have I have watched movie, movies, so movies personally. I don't know you, but these ones are planes, yes. But the picture shows hills, no? Like? Also, but the ones yeah. I said, the ones that are lower than the mountains or the ones that have some peaks are the plains, or are, it's called the plain. Okay, yes? that's fine. Yeah. We have this fourth picture. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Bank? Bank. Mm, Maybe. Let me tell you that I'm not sure, and it's not the bank. No? Okay. No. Tankies. Panel? No. A, 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 a channel? No. No, what? it doesn't look like a beach. Coast? Uh, Coast? Coast, yeah. Coast. Coast? Yes, it's Coast. a Coast. It's a Coast, yeah. Yeah. It could also mm. be seen as a shore, but this one looks more like a coastal site because they have like the, the water is calm and yes. can live in front of this place. Yes, that's a coastal site, como la zona costera, mm -hmm. coastal site, where people can actually live because they are not like tight uh, houses. So. Mm, high waves, yeah? There are no high waves. Okay, what about this one? It's very fast. Sure. No. no. Bank. Bank, yes. Yeah. Yes, this, oh. is, this is a bank. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, we have some other here. I don't know if you see what I'm pointing to. Yes? No. Yes. Huh? What I'm pointing to, can you see it? We have the older banks, yes? I mean, people, yes. not people, but maybe, I'm not sure what, what that is in the middle, maybe houses or some hotels or I don't know. But there we have another line, piece of land. Yes. That might be the older bank, yes? So okay. people can cross, yeah? And it's a very long one, yes? And what about this? Is shore? It's the shore, yes. Shore. So, big difference. <laughs> no, but I said other. Okay, so why is it the shore? Why this one is the shore and why this one is the coast? Why? Tell me if you see some difference or a difference. Shore and the coast? Mm -hmm. Coast, coast. Coast, coast, shore. Coast, coast. Mm. 
I mean, according to the picture as well. Yes, maybe the, or the coast is an area of land, pero, uh, but uh, not bigger, an area, or maybe. And the shore is an area of land, uh -huh. uh, big, big, uh, big, but close to the sea, maybe. Oh, see, see. Okay, in this one, I don't know, well, me, personally, because I live in Coatzacoalcos, this is, it was, this is similar to the shore that we have, that we have there in Coatzacoalcos, eh, because people can actually walk there, but they cannot be doing, like, a small houses or, a, or, I don't know, retail stores here around to sell things. They are just used for walk, Yes, or to have a walk here along the shore, yes, so that people can observe and admire the beach, yes, the beach. But it's not used for other things, yes, just okay. observing, admiring things, yeah. So people take pictures, but they don't sell things, yes. Yeah. Oh, in Coatzacoalcos, we have a long one, yes. Along the shore, I can see the beach, but I, can do, I cannot do anything else more than watching and just enjoy the song, yeah. Okay, good, so... It's a difference? Yes, that's a difference. When the coastal okay. side here, I can have this kind of a structure. I don't know if this one is like, like, Greece. Yes, Greece. It looks like Greece. But, um, yes, the water is calmer as well. As well because people cannot be in a place where the, there are high waves or you know the water like coming to them. <laughs> okay, so this is the vocabulary, yeah? And okay. we're going to do the exercise that is on page 12. 12. So I'm gonna give you like Six. one minute, yes. But this is going to be like very fast, okay? So you can do it one and one because we have almost five minutes to finish this session and then you access it again, okay? So we have vocabulary two on page 12. Are you ready? Do you have your material ready? Yes. Okay. Vocabulary two? Vocabulary two, yes. Okay. So we have the first one, uh, amba. Let's just start with amba. Read the example and then tell me which option you choose. Mm. Page 12. Page 12. Vocabulary 2. Ah, okay. Lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Circle the correct words. He crossed the valley between yes. the two hills and eventually arrived at the plain extending from the foot of the mountain to the coast. Okay, what do you think, Arturo? Are these yeah. answers right or wrong? It's right because valley is between two hills and plain. I think is is from foot of the mountain. Yes. Okay. Yes. Only pronunciation of amber. You have hit cross oh. the. Yes. He cross the. He cross. Cross. He crossed the, the okay. The what? The what? The valley. It's not the valley. 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 Uh, valley. I have Val two. valley. 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 Yes, between valley. the two hills. Valley. And eventually arrived at a plain extending from the foot of the mountain to the coast. Okay? Coast. That was it. And coast. number two. Number two, Arturo. Please, we have almost two minutes. 
Okay, the beautiful dog field um, bone ha, had no become nothing but an ugly looking swamp. Good. So we have yes, it's good. the beautiful dog field. Dog field, I mean, there are dogs in there, yes. Uh -huh, yes. It's, is it pound or pound? Pound. 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 Not pound. Pound. Okay. Pawn has now become nothing but an ugly looking swamp. Okay. Um, Good. Yes. So I'm going to, for all the students who watch this part of the lesson, so we already saw the difference between these concepts and we also had some pictures to compare. So you can okay. have a visual <laughs> and visual in, well, more visual material you can compare in look. The easiest way to watch some other pictures and real pictures is in Pinterest. So I found this one in this one in, in Pinterest, and I made some screenshots mm -hmm. as you can see here. And I didn't yes. have the time to to extract a, or download pictures, but this was the session about. So we're going to log out, guys, and I'm going to log in again. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Miss.